Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a quick look at in this video is Unified Network Application 7.5.172. There have been some reported problems with this. So if you're in the EA program, there's a 7.5.174. So look for that soon to fix some issues, uh, especially with firewall rules. But let's take a look at 7.5.172. <clears throat> And you can see everybody's been posting, you know, uh, they're excited about this animation, right? The flow of your data through the network. It's a real-time visualization. That's nifty. Um, and then there's a latency test from your gateway to the client. But uh, here's a couple things that I'm excited about. They'll be the same in the new release that will fix the firewall issues. Um, the DNS shield. So that is my understanding. And the things that I'm excited about actually aren't active yet because you have to have Unify OS 3.2, which is not available to us yet. But the DNS shield, that is a DNS over HTTPS. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. You, uh, you've noticed there's a lot of uh, user interface improvements, additions, things like that. Um, and one of the other things that I was super excited about that I can't test yet is, let's see here, uh, VPN. Added support for fully qualified domain name host names with IPsec site-to-site -site VPNs. This requires a Unify Next Gen Gateway, so the UXG, or a Unify Gateway Console with version 3.2 or newer yet. We don't have access to 3.2 or newer yet, but this is coming. Uh, added support for adding a slash 32, so a single host, or a slash 31, two hosts, uh, to remote gateway slash subnets for VPNs. Um, this requires a UXG or Unify Gateway Console, so that will work now. They did add some additional Diffie-Hellman groups on the site-to-site -site VPNs, improve the validation of WireGuard VPN keys, improve the VPN creation process. So I'm super excited about that. They added some things for Wi-Fi. You can see that they uh, deprecated the Facebook Wi-Fi authorization because Facebook is dropping support for it. So tons of bug fixes, tons of bug fixes. Uh, like I said, there is another version coming. There's been some reported things with firewall rules. The thing that I'd like to see next, and if anybody from Ubiquity is watching this video, we have gone and we have now added the VPN, fully qualified domain name. So what I would like to see, and then I really think that you are going to start displacing <laughs> some other some other products uh, is I'd like to see fully qualified domain names for firewall rules and for port forwarding or aliases. So allow us to build that list of, of aliases and then reference aliases and firewall rules and port forwarding. I think that that is, that is something that is definitely needed. And you've added the support back for the FQDN and host names and site to site VPN. That right there is going to cure a lot of issues um, because, you know, the world of static IPs gets expensive and uh, there's really uh, no need for it unless you are a company who, you know, is going to, and this is just one view of it, you know, that, that has to have those static IPs for security reasons, for authenticity reasons. Yes, owning static IPs is a good idea, but for the majority of, people who are going to be using Unify, fully qualified domain names and host names with site-to-site -site VPNs is going to be, uh, that's that's a, a game changer. So let me know what you think. Keep your eyes peeled for that uh, 7.5.174 to be released into to GA that fixes a few of the bugs that were found. And uh, let me know what you're excited about in this release. Let me know if you think what I asked for is uh, something that we need. I, I really do think we need FQDNs on firewall rules, or at least that ability to use aliases. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
Come back for our next video, which will be the next part in our building a small office home office network. If you'd like to support the channel, all of our affiliate links and Patreon link uh, links are below. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. And if you need IT consulting for networking, security, storage, voice over IP, all those good things, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form on the front page and someone will be with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.